Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this infected look. Of course, I did it on my arm, but you guys can do it on any part of your body. Just be careful if you're doing it on your face with the liquid latex. I don't want anybody to end up getting hurt from it. I used all products that you can either find at your local Halloween store, craft store. For the paints, I know a lot of people like to use the alcohol-based paints, but I use the Snazaroo paints that you can get from Michaels. So if you guys want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Alright guys, so to get started, you want to take these little white cosmetic sponges and tear little holes in them. It's really hard to see because my lights are so bright, but I do go in and turn them down. So right now I'm taking just a red uh, water-based paint and just stippling that on. Now, you don't want to go in and have a lot of red. Like, you want it to be a gradual buildup that's going to give it more a more realistic look. And by adding the little holes, it's going to make it look more veiny. So just going little by little and adding this in. I then start taking blue and adding it in. The blue mixed with red is going to give you more of a purple look. And I kind of dab, as you guys can see, like I'm dabbing the extra off on my table there. And then going back in with the red and just kind of mixing everything together. You really want to keep just mixing and building. I turned the light down so you guys could see it better. As you can see here, you know, <clears throat> it looks better when the lights are darker. It's more pigmented. You can see everything a little bit better. So just going back in and blending everything out using red and blue. And then we're going to go in and add some yellow as well. And here I kept dipping the wrong sponges. I was getting so mad. But just keep adding it up and building it up. Don't try and do too much at once because it's not going to make it look realistic. And if your paint starts to get too dried out, I'll just wet it down with some water. Now you see I wet it down with too much water there and kind of took some of that away. But I like the way it made it look. It kind of dulled it down a little bit more. And if you guys go on my Instagram, you can see the picture. I'll link my Instagram below. You can see the picture where it looks crazy. Next, we're going in with a Mayron liquid latex, and we're going to be adding some of this yarn. So you want to get any red yarn, pull it apart, rip it apart, and peel all the little strings apart. That's going to give you kind of a veiny look. You can use blue yarn, too, to get blue veins, but I only had red on me, so that's why I used that. But you really want to keep pulling it apart. Now, you'll see here I struggled a little bit with it. Because I wasn't really sure how to use it if I should just put it down first. And then I didn't like the using the Mayron skin tone. So later I go in and I just use the white liquid latex. Because the skin tone to me, when it was drying, it was still looking like my skin. And it was kind of taking away from the bruising. So I didn't really like that. But just pulling the yarn. Do this so organically. It doesn't need to. Don't try and be perfect. Pull pieces of yarn out after you glue it down. Put more on. Peel it off just to really get a natural look. You don't want it to look perfect. You want it to be more organic and not so put together. It's going to make it look more real. Does that make sense? I hope so. This is a super easy look that anybody can do with things that you can get at your local Michaels. I believe Michaels is where I got this yarn and it's where I got my uh, face paints or the Snazaru face paints. So here I go in with the white liquid latex. Oh, and Michaels actually sells liquid latex in their Halloween section. I'm not sure how great it is, but you can get it there too. So just going back in, I just keep adding more, putting more liquid latex on. And I like the white liquid latex because it dried clear. The, color, the skin tone, it may have ended up drying clear, but I just didn't like the way that it was looking. So then just keep pulling out pieces of yarn. I went in with some blue paint and I added a little bit of like blue veinage, you could call it, but I didn't really like the way that that looked either. So I ended up blending most of that out also with some red and blue and yellow. Building up the colors is what is going to give you the natural look. That's what you want to do. So just blending those out and it's going to make it look more so like it sits under the skin. And I think that was the most creepy effect with this is it looked like it sat under the skin. It was weird. And even when I was peeling it off, it was weird. So that's all you guys have to do for this Halloween look. It's super simple, super easy. Anybody can do this. I seen a picture of it. I thought it was going to be pretty difficult. 
And then once I started doing it, I was like, oh, shoot, this is easy. Just keep building it up. And I, at first, you know, started putting the red down for bruising. And I was like, oh, no, I'm not going to like the way this looks. And I ended up just, just keep playing with it. And it, it blew my mind. I loved it. So I ended up just putting uh, some more blue and red in to blend everything out and putting liquid latex to hold the base of the yarn down where that like bulbous piece is and to put some more yarn down. And then once that dries, you're done. You can again add as much or as little yarn and bruising as you wanted. I just kind of kept going. I just kept playing with it until I liked the way it looked. But that is all you have to do for this. I really hope you guys enjoyed this quick, easy Halloween tutorial. And it looks creepy how it sits, looks like it sits under my skin. But I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and leave your request down below. Bye.